Hello everybody, this is Buzzker back again with another episode of Banished. And in the last episode, we got a church up and going, we got a new cemetery up and going, we built some more houses. Um, I haven't checked these, but we should. We have, see we're getting pecans and walnuts and we're getting a bunch of them, so awesome. So while I'm thinking about it, before I say anything else, to heck with hardtack. We are going to start making nut bread. And, let's see, how much hardtack did he make in the last episode? Ooh, 520, so not bad. Okay, let's see. And we also got, um, fishing docks up and going. And this one's not producing great. Um, hopefully that'll change. This one is producing about a thousand, so I'm hoping this is just a season thing. This one was built second and finished a little later than the other one. So hopefully that's all that was. Um, we got a dock market up and going, and I love the radius size on this for the size of the building. This is perfect for what we needed. And we're building a bridge to kind of connect up the two areas. Um, I've considered building a dock out and across. I don't know if I'll actually do that. We might. Um, we got some reed farmers up and going here. And I do believe these are just called dock workers. They are, so we can't call them reed farmers per se. They're dock workers. Let's see. And let's see, what else do we need here? We need to put in some more fishing docks because we still need food. Lots and lots of food. Alright, put in a couple more fishing docks right there. And I think this barn will serve just fine for this whole area here. Um, I did want to come up here. We're going to build at least one more house along here. I think a house right there. And probably a house right there, but let's take a look. What else do we have? A school. See, it has an actual dock associated with it, so I think... Is that lining up? Kind of hard to tell. I think it is. I think we do that. Nope, not that. That. It almost looks like we need another dock coming across this way, too. I'm not sure if that's just a connection point or if we actually need that. We'll, we'll see. Um, but because we set that off over there, that means we still have this space open. It's a market. We have a church, basically. Um, an herb grower. We could do an herb grower, maybe. Um... Are those doors? Or is that a door? I'm not certain. I think they're both doors. We're doing pretty good actually on herbs now anyway, so maybe I'll just skip off of that one. What else do we have? Rice wine steel. So turn they distill rice into wine. Hmm. I gotta wonder if they need glass to do that though. I'm betting they do. Dock workshop. Workers at the dock workshop are able to craft a range of simple items including fuel for homes, basic clothing, rough tools and ropes. That could be kinda cool. Uh, a water scavenger. I've used these before. They do pretty good. Um, the fishery, the eggs, and chickens, and reeds, and rice. Rice is a good idea probably to get up and going at some point again, but... Actually, while I'm thinking of it, let's go over here. How has this rice farmer done? Is it worthwhile? Oh yeah, he, so one rice is producing as much as a small farm, so that that's good. Um, it's a shore house, reed farms, and our chicken breeder. Chicken breeder does okay. I'm not sure he does great. Tons and tons of fish for that guy. Might be to the point where once we get these other ones, I might be able to get rid of this fishing dock. Not sure if it's worth it or if we might just leave it up and going. Not sure. Too bad we can't make honey with any of these. That would be kind of cool. I'm kind of thinking like this dock workshop might be something we want to build. Kind of looks like he'd work really well right there, doesn't it? And I think that's where it'll connect up with that, too. Yeah, let's 
give that a try. And do we have room for another weed farmer right here? We do. Might as well go ahead and put in another reed farmer. We can use those reeds for several different things. Um, we can actually put one in right there too. I think I'll do that. I just put reed farmers in everywhere. Let's see, there is a lower dock piece, but you might... Alright everybody, sorry about that. I had to put a cut in there. Um, I did a couple of things and just realized that my mic was muted. I'm sorry about that. So a couple of things that did just happen. I think I put in maybe another reed planter um, since you guys were cut out. And I put in a dry corner piece here. And then I just kind of checked the stats of some of this stuff to see how they were producing. And most notably this farmer is uh, doing, or this uh, dock fishery is doing better this time around. Okay, we'll get this student teacher thing up and going here. I don't know if we actually even needed a teacher, but we're gonna, or another school, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in just in case. Now, so we can upgrade these, but we're gonna need rope to do it, so we need to get some hemp farms up and going so that we can make even more rope. Um, I think right now we're making rope out of reeds, if I remember correctly, which we're producing as well. Yeah, we are. Um, but as you can see, the yield's pretty low on how many we actually make um, so we're gonna have to do something and hemp's probably the way to go we'll get the most out of it and can probably farm it faster um, ooh. we are actually out of bamboo so let's go ahead and try to take care of that let's see how big were these 21 by 7s sure if this one's actually a 21 by 7. Let's look at that 20 by 7. That's okay. We'll do 20 by 7 then, just to stay consistent here. Um, you know, actually, on this one, I think I'm going to make this one a little bit larger, just for the fact that we can. And we're not going to really build anything else beside it, so let's do that. Get us another... You know, part of the reason we could have ran out, I don't remember what they were producing beforehand. It could be that labor pickup button. And we're backed up to a ton of labor, so maybe we should be thinking about that again. And let's see. Um, so we're out of jade again, so we can't make any more jade statues. Guess we'll switch back to wood, but I think I'm going to drop down to just one person. I don't think we need to be working that so crazily. And at the trading post, let's go ahead and move our jade statues in. Don't know how many we have. I don't want to put in more than we have. Uh, jade statues with 32. So we'll just do 30. Another trader coming in. And let's see. I want to get some more farms going too. I've been focusing on the docks so much I kind of forgot about these farms. So let's go ahead and build 12 by 7. 5 by 7. Build three more of them out here. An industry supplier. So yeah, it's got some furniture, candles, iron ore. It's tempting, but I bet there's a ton of iron ore on our map still. We're getting kind of low though. Just get it. It's only cost two. Maybe I'll take it. It's only a thou take the iron. save our laborers a little bit of work. They're probably collecting some up here anyways. Um, not a lot. They did. There's some there. And let's see, how's our corn producing? Oh yeah, corn's producing really well. And food. So we produced a lot more food last year than we actually used, and we're producing more than we need now. 
question is, is how much of it did I buy? I don't remember. Oh, got a couple traders in again. It's a problem with having so many traders. We end up with a ton of them. Let's see. Native artifacts are good for nothing other than trading, as far as I know. They might be good for some decoration stuff, but not that I'm aware of. I think we're actually producing enough cotton on our own. Let's see, cotton. We got 909 cloth, 4200 cotton. We don't need any cotton. Um, yeah, I don't think we need anything this guy has. Let's see what it want to be. Um, I don't think herb seeds could be kind of cool, but. Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Oh, we got things up and going here. Some dock workers. And that includes this guy. Let's take a look and see how this lined up. Now well, they're walking across there, so that's good. Okay, what do these guys do? So we can make fire bundles out of reeds, survival coats, rope out of reeds and rough tools. So he can't make anything great, but he can make some stuff okay. Um, I don't think it would make sense to do survival coats here. We're doing that elsewhere. And I actually had to probably turn one of those other tailors into a regular um, cloth one, too. Maybe I will do reeds and feathers, but, okay, so that's interesting. I think they're actually coming out of here, because um, I don't think they can be getting up there from here. Okay, let's see. We need to finish up some of this dock stuff here. Let's do, let's do like here. Put one right there for good measure, and one right there for good measure. Just to make sure they can get on and off of it right there. And then I'll put something on the inside here. I'm kind of thinking maybe the chickens? We should produce on a ton of eggs, so... Yeah, let's do that. We'll see how that goes. I might look kind of cluttered, but we'll see. So I think we're producing reeds fairly well now. These guys look like they produce reeds better than the other ones I got up. Uh oh. fisheries up and going. Don't know if I want to build any more down here this episode or not. Um, I'm not exactly sure where I am on this episode. I had to step away for a really um, long time. So um, the recording is much longer than it's going to end up being. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be with cuts. So I think I'm going to end it here. Um, well, let's go ahead and get in these farms. It's easy enough to do. Um, let's see, we had bought some additional stuff, and we bought, uh, blackberries, so, yeah, let's put in blackberries. You know, maybe down in here we want to build a winery. That'd be kind of cool. I haven't done a winery, maybe ever. Let's see, blackberries, blackberries. And, I'll go ahead and put in the roads, because you know I like my roads. Oops. Roads don't always like me, but I like roads. Alright, we'll get that going. So, in this episode, we got our church up and going, I think. 
Um, stuff's kind of running together at the moment. Um, got our grain silo up and going. We're making bread. We're making nut bread. And we're making a good amount of nut bread, too, so that's good. That should really help out our health. In fact, I would expect that it has helped quite a bit, if you can look here. We had a half a heart gain. Um, I still want to get in a couple more apiaries somewhere along the way. And we got a school that went in. He does have some students in. We got a dock worker thing here. He's made some survival codes. Not sure where he's getting the feathers off hand. He's got to be getting them from a... Uh, a um, uh, market someplace. I'm gonna go ahead and run the roads here so I don't forget. Actually, let's cancel. Here I go again, guys. I'm terrible at this. Let's say I'm ending and then boom. What do I do? Do it again. Come on. Do it cornerize like that. Hopefully they'll use it. Um, yeah, so we'll get that going. Um, we're gonna end up connecting this dock up around through here. We've got some chicken uh, things going in here. Um, and yeah, I think that's gonna do it. So I'm just kind of zoom in here. I think this is a pretty nice looking view of our town so far. So, anyways, that's going to do it. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, click the like button. If you didn't like what you're seeing, click the dislike button. Let me know in the comments what you didn't like so I can try to improve. And if you did like what you're seeing, please think about clicking that subscribe button. And I hope to see you back again next time for another episode of Banished.